What's going on guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video in the coyote hunting tips and strategy series. Today we're going to dig into the calibers that I use and what ammo that I use for those specific calibers. Getting started right into it, um, for a daytime rifle, I use this Ruger American Predator in the Magpul stock. This is one that I spray painted myself. Um, you guys can take a look at that video. It's here on the channel. And what this is, is this is a 243. And this is what I use as my rifle for daytime hunting. It's just got a Vortex scope on top. This is a Diamondback HS, I believe. Diamondback HP. And I run this suppressed. Don't have the suppressor on there right now. It's on my night rig, but pretty simple, pretty basic, 243, super fast, super flat, great shooter. Uh, I've done several videos on this rifle specifically. If you guys want to take a look at that, feel free to. It kind of dives into it a little bit more on the specifics and shows uh, sh some groupings as well. Uh, the ammo that I use for this, set this down. I actually do not hand load for the 243 just because I've had such good luck with the Winchester Varmin X. This is uh, the 243 58 grain. I mean, they claim this stuff is cruising at 3,400 feet per second, 100 yards out. And like I say, I just haven't found a reason to do any hand loading myself. This was very reasonably priced back in the day when you could actually find ammo. Remember them good old days? But that's what I used, 243 daytime rifle and 58 grain Varmint X. Moving in now to shotgun. Also have a thorough review on this on the channel as well. This is the Benelli Supernova. The only thing I've really done to this is just put a higher vis uh, sight on the front and on the back it's just got your little single bead. And then I've also put an extension tube in this so I can actually fit seven in this because it's 12 gauge and the ammo that I use only comes in three inch. Uh, for turkey season, I use three and, a, three and a half inch loads. But once again, Winchester Varmint X. No, they don't sponsor me. But hey, if you want to, let me know, Winchester. <laughs> but it, this is a 12 gauge, three inch shells, um, one and a half ounce BB shot. Had a lot of luck, good luck with those on the video that I did shooting this, um, sighting it in for this specific load. Uh, I think I was, forget the amount of pellets that I was getting or BBs that I was getting, but it was super accurate out to 55 yards. So that's pretty impressive for shotgun. And then running a, uh, this is the dead coyote choke right here. And um, super happy with it. Pretty simple, pretty basic, but it definitely lays down the coyotes. And for the nighttime rig, which is what I mainly do, is nighttime hunting. This is a custom built 6.5 Grindle that I built myself uh, several years back whenever I got on the Grindle train. I uh, just love the 6.5 Grindle and 243. But this is what I use for nighttime. Uh, several videos on this as well. The run through, the full specs on it. The only thing that's really changed since then is probably. Uh, I am now running a laser rangefinder that works at night, and man, that thing's just awesome. But that's it, 6.5 Grendel for nighttime hunting. Run that off the tripod, and we'll get into that once we get into more gear-related videos. Uh, all these weapons are unloaded and safe. But what I'm using, I don't have any boxes out here. This is what I carried in my video idea on DIY ammo boxes, the pack of gum, check that out if you haven't yet. But I do my own hand loads on 6.5 Grendel. I run H335 and shoot 90 grain TNT. I was um, a few years back or even early on last year, I was using the 123 SSTs from Hornady and they just weren't getting much expansion. so had too many runners with those and once I switched to these 90 grain TNTs picked up a little bit of speed and velocity 
uh, just haven't looked back. It's it's a heck of a round and it gets the job done whenever I do my part. But that's it for my setups on the calibers that I use and the ammo to go along with it. Um, any questions at all, make sure and comment down below. We're going to keep this video series going. Appreciate you guys being here. Once again, I'm going to keep saying it. If you like these videos, you got to make sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you're not going to know when the new content comes out. I appreciate all you guys. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.